Hi everyone, welcome to the Grammar God's first ever lesson. The Grammar Gods know how many different word types you have to learn in year two. You have to be able to know why we use them, what the difference is between them, as well as using them in your own work. They know that you have to learn about verbs, adjectives, nouns and many more and they are here to help you. Neptune the Noun God is here today and he wants to teach you all about nouns. Let's learn a simple noun song to help us start our Grammar God journey. A noun is a naming word, person, animal, place or thing. A noun is the name of anything. Let's break the song down now and listen to each section carefully. A noun is a naming word, person. So these type of words are the names of real people or the name of characters in a story. As you can see, I've got three blue labels on my board. The bear family, Isabella and Princess Ava. They all start with a capital letter and there is a very special reason for this. This is because those are real names. And all names are a special type of noun called a proper noun and they have to start with a capital letter. I hope that when you write your name you remember your capital letter because your name is a very special noun too. Now there is one orange label on the board and that has got the word lady written in it. That is because a lady is a person. We don't know her real name at the moment, so lady doesn't need a capital letter, but the word is still a person noun. Okay, let's see if you can hear the person noun, the name of a person, in this first sentence. Grandma was at the park. Grandma was at the park. Pause the video, see if you can name that noun. That's it. If you said grandma, you are right. The word grandma is a person word. Well done. You may also be super clever and know that the word park is a noun and that is the name of a place. But we'll get to that in a little while. Have a listen to this next sentence. Listen out for the word that is the name of a person. Ben and his friends looked at the fire. Ben and his friends looked at the fire. Pause the video, name that noun. <gasps> Did you get it? The word Ben is a real name. And because it's the name of a person, that is the noun I was looking for. Excellent work if you got that one right. A noun is a naming word, person, animal, place or thing. A noun is the name of anything. I'm going to look at animal names now. Any animal name that you can think of is an, a noun. Any animal, not just the animals on my board. But let's warm up. Shout out any of the animals you can spot on the board. Oh, fantastic. I heard someone say butterfly. What was that? Zebra's there, well done. And parrot, and someone just shouted snake. Fantastic. Got a little challenge for you now. Can you pause the video and name 10 different animal names? You could write these down or shout them out. It's up to you. <gasps> well done. You just named 10 nouns all by yourself. You're doing such a good job. Listen out and see if you can hear the animal noun, the animal name, in my sentence. The lion is lying in the long grass. The lion is lying in the long grass. Did you hear the animal noun? Pause the video, name that noun. That's it, well done. The word lion is the name of an animal. So that is the noun I was looking for. Excellent. What about this one? He's a cheeky little fellow, isn't he? The spider is on the web. The spider is on the web. Did you hear the animal noun? Pause video. Name that noun. <gasps> you were super fast with that one, weren't you? The word spider is the noun. Fantastic.
A noun is a naming word, person, animal, place or thing. A noun is the name of anything. So we're going to places now. Places that you can go to, visit or travel to. Now some places don't need a capital letter like school, toy shop and beach and you will have noticed those are in my top row of pictures. In the bottom row I've chosen the names of places that are real. So they are proper nouns, real names, proper places. So they need to start with a capital letter just like your name. And the real places I've chosen are Greece, Paris and London. So the names of places. Are you ready to see if you can hear a place noun in this sentence? Let's go. We went to the beach. We went to the beach. Where did we go? What was the noun? Pause the video. Find the noun. <gasps> Fantastic. The place in that sentence is beach. Well done. Let's try another. The bus drove all the way to London. The bus drove all the way to London. What was the place word in that sentence? Where is the noun? Pause the video. Name that noun. Excellent. The place name I was looking for was London. Now I bet you're really clever and you're thinking that bus is the name of something too. And that takes us on to the last part of our noun song. A noun is a naming word, person, animal, place or thing. A noun is the name of anything. Here comes the name of anything you can imagine. Not just the pictures on my board. Bus, car, house, couch, TV radiator loads of different things whenever i'm trying to work out if a word is an object name i put the letter a in front of it or the word an and if it still makes sense so a ball have you spotted the ball then that is the name of an object that is the object noun okay i was looking for pause the video and give me six names of objects that you can see on the board off you go Fantastic! Someone was saying TV, someone else said medal, someone found that helicopter. Well done if you were the one who shouted kettle, whisk or microwave. All these different things, all the names of different objects. Let's see if we can work together to hear the object names in these last few sentences. There are four windmills. There are four windmills. Did you hear the name of an object or a thing? Pause the video, name that noun. Fantastic, windmills. A ah, windmill makes sense and windmill is the name of an object. You're getting really good at this. Let's have one more try. There are purple and red flowers. There are purple and red flowers. What object is my sentence about? What thing is my sentence about? Pause the video. Name that noun. <gasps> Did you get flowers? My picture and my sentence were about the flowers. And the word flowers is a noun. Fantastic. Neptune is very impressed with everybody today. So he has a noun challenge for you. A noun challenge. A noun is a naming word, person, animal, place or thing. Are you ready? Take a look at these words on the board and see if you can find out which ones are nouns. The name of a person, the name of an animal, the name of a place or the name of a thing. Off you go. Welcome back. Did you spot them all? Let's have a look. So the first noun on the board is the word computer. Ah, computer. That is the name of a thing, isn't it? The name of an object. The next two nouns, Dylan and Mary, both start with a capital letter. They are the name of people, the name of a person. They are proper nouns. They must be the name of somebody real. Well done if you got those. Apple and tree are both nouns because those words are the names of objects. 
or things. Well done if you got those. Manchester is the name of a noun because it is the name of a place. Again, the capital letter tells me it's the name of a real place. Giraffe and elephant are both words that are the names of animals. So they are nouns too. Nearly finished. The word London is the name of a place. The name of a real place because it starts with a capital letter. Did you get that word? Well done if you did. The last noun on my board is the word car. A car. That is the name of an object. Don't worry if you didn't get them all. This kind of thing is super tricky. Can you tell the grammar gods what a noun is? What have you learnt? That's right. A noun is a naming word. Person, animal, place or thing. Neptune hopes you enjoyed his video. Join us next time and we'll be learning all about a noun's best friend with Aphrodite adjective. Thanks for listening. See you soon. Bye.